Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing how to program and delete channels from a Baofeng radio. Namely, I'm going to be using the BF-F8HP, but I hope that this process is repeatable for other radios. Now, this is a great little radio which holds 128 channels, but if you look at the owner's manual, which I'm flashing up on the screen right here, it's completely useless. Look at this. It says that it can store 128 channels. It says that you have to be in frequency mode to do this, but it doesn't actually tell you how to go about storing or deleting these channels. So that's what I want to cover today. So in order to do this, let's pick up the radio, turn it on. Channel mode. Okay, so I've booted up into channel mode. Now, we've got to be in frequency mode in order to program it, and what's important is you have to program into an empty slot. What I mean by that is, notice I've already actually got four channels stored on the radio. So I'll just show you. In the upper right corner, you can hopefully see that one. So I'm on the first stored channel, which is channel one. If I push up, two. that's channel two. Three. Up one more time to channel three. Six. And apparently the fourth channel I decided to store in slot number six. Okay, so if I push up one more time, one. it cycles back to my uh, my first store channel. So again, I've got four uh, channels stored on channels one, two, three, and six. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to frequency mode so I can punch in the frequency of uh, another station that I want to save. So I'm going to push VOR slash MR to get into frequency mode. Frequency mode. Okay, I'm going to punch in the frequency that I want to store. How about 1510040? Okay, so I've got that here, but I want to store this now as a channel, maybe in say slot number four. So I don't have to keep manually doing this. So in order to store this in slot four, I'm going to go ahead and push the menu button down below. Menu. I'm going to go to option number 27 which is our memory channels, and I'm going to push menu one more time to get down to be allowing to select which channel I want. So menu. Memory channel. So right now, notice I'm in channel one. It's got this CH prefix in front, which means that it's already got something stored here. In fact, if I go up to channel two, you see it still has a CH prefix because we, we've got a channel stored there. We go up one more time. It's still got something stored there. But if I go up one more on channel four, notice there's no CH prefix, meaning I can safely store something here. Uh, it, and to store it, I'm just going to push menu one more time. Receiving memory. And it says something like receiving memory. And notice now that we have the CH prefix. So this is all good to go now. If I go ahead and exit out of this and go back to channel mode by pressing VOR slash MR. Channel mode. Okay, here's channel one, which we already had. Two. Here's channel two, which we already had. Three. Channel three, which we already had. And now if I push up one more time. Four. Here's the newly programmed channel number four. Now, remember, you can only put the storage into blank spaces. What if you already have a channel in there and you want to delete something out of, say, slot number? How about let's delete slot number one? So I'll go to another ch uh, frequency. Let's, let's switch over to frequency mode. Frequency mode. How about uh, one, one, five, two, zero, 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 zero. I don't know. I'm just going to make zero. something up. Uh, whoops, that's that's got something on it. Let's do something else. One, one five, five two, two, zero, zero two, two, zero. zero. Okay. Here we go. Let's say I want to store this frequency. Let me just show you that it's going to choke if you try to put this into a existing slot. So let's do our same procedure. Let's go ahead and hit menu. menu. Go to option 27. Hit menu again to go memory start selecting channel. channels. Let's say I want to put this in slot number one. If I go down to slot one, notice it's got the CH prefix, so something's already here. If I push menu, I'm not going to get that receiving into memory message. Transmitting memory. It says something about transmitting memory, which basically means it didn't get stored. So if I come back here and exit out just to show you, if I go to channel mode, channel mode. and go down to channel one. Three. That is not that 152.020 number, right? So it didn't work. So I've got to delete this 140.125 out of slot number one first if I want to use it. So to delete it, it's actually a little bit simpler. So I'm going to go again and hit menu. menu. Now go to option 28. Okay. And again, same thing. Now we're on the delete channel. The arrow is pointing up. I need the arrow to point down so I can start picking channels. So I'm going to hit menu. Delete channel. And then I'm going to go find which channel I want to delete. And again, maybe I'll just scroll around. You can notice here that if you have the CH prefix in front, it means there's a channel stored there. So I want channel one. This one, I want to delete it. So I'm going to hit menu now. Confirm. 
confirm. And notice the CH prefix went away, so there's nothing stored in slot number one. So now I'm free to go over and program that and store it into slot one. So just for practice, let's do that again. Let's go over here and hit VORMR to get into frequency mode. Frequency mode. Uh, oh, it's already stored here. 152.020. This is what I want to store. So I'm going to come here and hit menu. Menu. Option 27. I'm going to push menu again to start picking channels. It's on channel number one, and notice there's no CH prefix, so I should be good to go if I hit menu. Receiving memory. Receiving memory, and there you go. I've gone ahead and stored it, so if I come over here again to channel mode, so I'm going to hit VORMR. Channel mode. Channel mode, let's go down to channel one. I'll push down. One. And there you go. Here's the 152.020 that we wanted. So, I hope that was helpful. I hope it showed how to easily store and delete channels in a Baofeng radio. If this was helpful, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll down a little ways and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me make these uh, videos and continue releasing new ones. So, with that being said, I hope to catch you at one of these future discussions. So, until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye!